could like have to get some. Fierce Firearms presents The Fierce Life. Brought to you by Jack Link's Beef Snacks. Feed your wild side. Swarovski Optics. See the unseen. Fierce Firearms. Ferocious performance. Deadly accurate. Barnes Bullets. Optimized for your target. Sportsman's Warehouse. America's premier outfitter. Cutterback. More deer. Fewer blanks. Rizzini USA. Sporting and field over-under shotguns for the discriminating shooter. Limb Saver. Caldwell Shooting Supplies. Cryptek. Battlefield to Backcountry. Hunting Illustrated Magazine. The voice of the hardcore hunter. Hey, what's going on in here? What's happening, asshole? Oh, oh ransom, buddy. <laughs> Hey, I got a piece of trivia for you. I want you guys to well, listen. I want you guys to tell me if this is Chewbacca or freaking Sasquatch from the Jack those Jack Link commercials. Okay, ready for it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your guess? Beanies, I think you're freaking a mixture of both right there. One fight the other, and the other one's got the other in a submission headlock. <laughs> you took it too far. It's just a mating call. Sasquatch. <laughs> you were going to say uh, Chewbacca weren't your answer. I think Jack Lane should put that in their next commercial. <laughs> I think you should be the guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I figure you guys probably have a good answer for that. <laughs> Jack Wagons. Oh, Rats, we're actually looking... Uh, at Hunting Illustrated here, we're trying to pick a cover for the next issue. We got two great bucks. Check these out. Which one do you think? That one? Wait for it. Or that one? Ooh. I, I think that one, for sure. Yeah. 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 It's just got a lot of everything on the it. Dilemmas of picking a cover. <laughs> huh? Always. Always. <sighs> hey, I, I got an awesome idea for a story, though. I just got off the phone with the client of mine that's got I heard you talk to someone in there. Yeah. Anyway, he's What's a son. He his son's 15 years old. Just drew a Utah coveted any bull elk tag. Really? Sweet, huh? Better than a story. Let's get a TV show out of that. I know. That. You think know. they'd do a TV show? I, I think they would. Think they'd really let us do. film them? They do. His 15-year-old boy drew it? 15 years old. Check this out. I got a, actually got a video clip of when he... How do you Open up and drew the tag. Realize you drew on the tag. Check, check this out, dude. I don't say that kid is pumped out, guys. I remember being that excited for Christmas once when we got Transformers. That guy, that kid is jacked up. Maybe he's, he's kind of like you with the Transformers. Transformer <laughs> boy. Or are you going to guide him? Well, yeah, that's, what, that's why his dad called me. That's he wants plan, me to. Huh? Take them. So. Perfect. Yeah, well, yeah, I've been there 15 years. We'll send out the camera. Years. We'll build him a fierce rifle. We'll send out the camera crew. And this kid will be awesome on awesome. TV. He yeah. is jacked mm -hmm. up. Smile from here. I wonder if he's smiling. that excited all the time. Who yeah, tell? He was it. It. I mean, obviously, we like to go out and beanies, you know, he's usually tripping and it's always entertaining to film him on the hunt, falling down. And <laughs> all, you know, get us. But I love to go out with customers yeah. because you get the real deal, you get mm -hmm. the excitement. Let's His plan dad said he's a great hunter, too. Beanies. Freaking perfect, bro. Hopefully, your aunts can give him a big bowl. <laughs> mm. We'll have a story for the All magazine. pressure on you now. Have story for the magazine, TV show, Fierce Firearms, Booyah. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Fierce Firearms. 
ferocious performance, deadly accurate. So as you saw, Ransom had a great idea for a TV show. Young Bryce Carson had an elk tag in his pocket for an area that had been producing some giant bulls. And now he'd been saving his money for a custom rifle. So this was a scenario we couldn't pass up. We contacted Bryce and of course he wanted one of our rifles. He chose a Fierce Edge in 300 Remington Ultra Mag. So we had to get this done quick so he could have the rifle done for opening day. The boys got it done and Bryce and his dad Larry came down to pick up the finished product. Let's see what they think. Hey, hey. Hey, Ransom. Hey, guys. You made it. How you doing, Ransom? Good. You're good. I knew you've got time for you guys to show up. All smiles there. Good to see you. All right. Well, you guys want to just have a seat. I'll go grab them for you real quick. Sure. See, see what you think. There it is. There it Look is. Look at that. What do you think? That's awesome. <laughs> so is that what you imagine? Better. First night, uh, limited entry elk hunt uh, here in southern Utah. Um, we're up in the high pines uh, here with uh, Bryce Carson and his father Larry. Uh, Bryce was lucky enough to be uh, a young man who drew this uh, special limited entry elk hunt here. So uh, he's he's just a little bit excited. We're going to go and we're going to look for the for the biggest bull on the mountains. Our plan. So. off and on all day. I've got a bunch of bulls up here just above this beautiful one. A pretty good pile of people, so we're gonna see if we can sneak up in there and get on these bulls. This hunt had some great challenges to it. Uh, we had a lot of rain, uh, had about five days of rain, and uh, sometimes rain can work to your advantage and sometimes it can work to your disadvantage. Another challenge we had was I had actually five other people following me as we went on this hunt. So one of the advantages to the rain was it knocks our scent down and it makes it very quiet for all of us to move through the trees.
segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Cryptech, Battlefield to Backcountry. On this day, I decided to take the guys back into an old area where I'd spent a lot of time and had a lot of great opportunities on some really nice bulls. Uh, when we got to the location, um, we just barely come to, to the top of the ridge and we heard a lot of bulls bugling down in the basin. The boys were excited and we dove in. Bryce was ready to pull the trigger, but we wouldn't let him go. Well, we wouldn't say yes, yeah, so if that bull just had a little more on the top end, I think we would have probably taken him, so. Yeah. But, uh, so here we go. We're gonna go see if we can find another one. What are you shaking, Bryce? Oh, yeah, my heart was beating out of my chest. <laughs> yes. As we dove into the canyon, we knew the elk were still a long ways away, so we were really making quick time to get in there. As we were moving through the trees on our way there, all of a sudden we heard a bull bugle really close. Now I'm not talking close, I'm talking like 20 yards away. We all froze, we were all spread out, our cameraman was quite a ways behind us. We didn't have any chance for anybody to move and so we were trying to figure out what this bull was and as we were sitting there watching him, the bull came and he stuck his brows underneath his pine bough and looked around as I was cow calling. We didn't have a lot of time to make a decision, we knew he was a good bull the bull stepped out, offered a shot at about 125 yards. Nice bull. I'm Bane's that is bull. dead. Bane is dead. Nice <laughs> work. Woo! I don't know how I was stealthy on that. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> Two points that I drew this time. Let's go look at Bane. Bane is dead. You know, that bull. That bull was quiet until he got right in on top of me. Score him. Where is he? <laughs> Bane is dead. Bane is dead. That's what it did right there. <laughs> I'm mounting that on my wall. Uh, it's been, been a long hunt, been a tough hunt. Uh, we pretty much got rained out for about two days and and uh, it's been quite a challenge. Uh, we've been wet, we've been cold, we've been behind the bulls, we've had a hard time catching up with them. But uh, this morning we Finally got lucky.
This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Rizzini, sporting and field over-under shotguns for the discriminating shooter. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that great hunt with Bryce Carson as he harvested a fantastic bull here in Utah. Now we're going to join up with Kaylee Tuttle, another youth hunter. She is our Hunting Illustrated Hunt Contest winner. We're taking her on her first elk hunt with our good buddy Dean Billington of Bull Basin Outfitters. Let's join them now and see how she does. Kaylee just showed up to camp. Her and her dad just rolled in. This is going to be her cabin. Hey, Kaylee. So uh, you finally made it, huh? Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to get here? About seven or eight hours. It's a long drive. Did you ever think this day would come? No, not at all. Uh, so our next hunter in camp is uh, Kaylee uh, from Utah. Uh, Kaylee, you just have to focus on, if you shot a deer, elk is going to be like two or three times as big, so it'll be way easier to hit. And uh, <laughs> if you can keep... Uh, uh, the camp guy's quiet and uh, your dad from jumping up and down will have a great time. So congratulations on the uh, We're looking forward to uh, a great week with you. So tell me about how this uh, drawing went down. Well, I went to the Hunt Expo, which they have over here in Salt Lake City, you know? And I put in for the Hunting Illustrated contest that they have every year. And they um, I got an email from them saying that I'd won, and I was like, I didn't even know what to say. I thought it was, I didn't think it was real. We started out this morning. Uh, we heard some bulls bugling right out of the truck. Uh, they were down the ridge a ways from us, so we got the wind right, worked our way down the ridge, got you know right in the middle of the elk, and the wind just shifted just a little bit towards the elk, and and we blew we blew some of those elk back out over the top of this ridge. There's some more elk that was bugling behind us that we just walked by. But I think the game plan now for Kaylee is we'll just work our way back up this ridge, maybe catch some of those elk that were behind us, and then try to catch some elk coming up the other side. Oh yeah, there he comes. He's pushing him really right him off, didn't he? Yeah, he's pushing them right out of there. Got quite a few elk down there, Kaylee. What do you think? Sorry. Um, can't wait to go shoot one of them. Go shoot that big six down there. It's big. Well, it's the third day here at Bull Basin, and uh, the troops are getting a little anxious. Uh, we've got uh, two bulls down and a buck. Uh, we've been seeing lots of elk and, and, and deer. And we're gonna, we're gonna turn the boys loose and give them the green light today and, and sharpen some knives. And we found this bull a couple days ago and couldn't quite get her, get her done in the trees, so we're gonna try him out in the open this morning. Last night, that bear might have moved those elk back out of here a little bit this morning, so maybe we'll just back out of here and, and try these elk in, this afternoon. And we've watched a bull 
come out in this hay field for the last two nights and we just haven't been able to to get the same spot and get close enough for a shot and tonight we're gonna I think we got it figured out we're gonna get in there and get a good good shot for Kaylee side of those cows is 375 yards. Go ahead and put the crosshairs right at the top of his shoulder and squeeze the trigger. Out of here. Woo! Good job! Woo what do you think of that bull? He's huge. <laughs> Way to go, Kaylee. Look at that bull, huh? Congratulations on your first bull. Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Fierce Life. Please join us again next week for more exciting action.